All right, this is going to be a little bit of a different vlog. I'm Bill Cyrus, and this is episode 125. And today's vlog, I'm going to Chicago, and my son and his wife are coming into town, and we are going to go meet them. I'm going to try to vlog my way to Chicago. So the first stop is go catch a train, or maybe stop and get a soda, and then go catch a train. All right, that's what's going to happen. So we got to get moving. Very, very slim chance that you notice. I moved the car without the seatbelt on. I immediately put the seatbelt on, just, just in case you wanted to know if I had lost my mind and was driving without my seatbelt on. Never, never, ever. All right, you know where I am. Where do I always go? I, uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna get a soda, and and then uh, I'll pick this up like when I get when I get to the train because they're nothing really interesting between I'm just driving like a long way to pass stores and shops and things so when I get to the train so I'm also today I'm inventing a new YouTube transition you know there's this one where you cut and so this this new transition is gonna be the the uh, start button transition so when I I'm gonna touch the button and stop it and in the next clip I'll be touching the button and that's my new my new uh, YouTube transition so I'm, I'm famous. For, I'll be famous for this. I'm back. I am in the parking lot of the train station. Oh, no. Faked out by the little car. This parking lot is full. Oh, let's see what we can do. Ah, I forgot to roll the windows up. Obviously, I'm in the uh, the rookie parking section. It is a Monday work day for most people, and this is a commuter train to Chicago. Why would I expect anything different? Okay, let's get going. Let's go buy a train ticket. All right, let's make this walk. We got, uh, got a pretty good, pretty good little walk to make. So. So I have uh, arrived at Chicago. I am, uh, we're at the Bean and uh, got off the train. Met my son, his wife, we're going to the Bean. So it should be a fun day. J just, just, so you, just so you know, there's gonna be a lot of B-roll today. There's gonna be a lot of B-roll.
All right, so one of the things about the, this beam thing, when you're inside in here, everyone sees the same thing differently, depending on where they stand up. So if you're standing there, the reflections are completely different than if you're standing here. So it, it, it's kind of this, this sociological comment in the art of the beam. So wherever you're standing, you see a different image because of the, 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 the curves. Yeah. So like I see, so I, I see Kara right here. Kara is right here. And for you, she's gonna be somewhere else. So she's, she's right here in my reflection. I lost myself now. So, so wherever you are, you're, you're gonna see a different image. So if, if you go over there and she's here, you're gonna see each other in different places because perspective and point of view. So we're kind of making a plan. We're gonna go up on the Art Institute overpass and take a picture. And then we're gonna, somewhere or other, we're gonna to get to the Apple store. So, so Nathan works for Apple. He's a genius. He works at the Genius Bar. Yeah. Yeah, so that's, uh, this is, I, I gotta say something about the, the, the eight. This is an eight plus. It has image stabilization. And when I'm shooting out of the other camera, it's like, buttery smooth it's like I'm, I'm I have a gimbal for the phone yeah but if I'm careful I can get gimbal quality stuff out of the back camera what's amazing is when you're at a concert that's got an incredible incredible bass and it confuses the optical image stabilization and then it just goes insane because the bass will destabilize the magnets that control the motor that controls the it that controls the lens and then it just goes crazy. It probably is, is picking up that vibration and, and, thinking you're and moving, stabilizing. But you're not. Yeah. So it's, it destabilizes it. But I love the eight. I, I mean, it's just paradigm shift from the six. Oh yeah, absolutely, and, totally. And, and then the eight plus with the with the stabilization that just is like game changer. Yeah. And now the ten is stabilization on both fronts. I don't need that anymore. <laughs> As you do, dead stroller, <laughs> throw it away. yesterday 106 the other day temperature or temperature not index not including the 90 percent humidity i'm just gonna repeat my story i've said this before it's like some of the people i live around i'm going to the store it's like 85 and they're like what you're going out in this weather <laughs> all right we're on our way we're gonna go find a lift i think we're gonna go find the apple store and some place to eat lunch so you can expect more b-roll now It's a flagship store. <laughs> Apparently this is a flagship store. You have to have a ship's flag or they won't let you in. I think that's what that means.
Uh, apparently I was wrong about needing a ship's flag. Apparently you can come in here even if you don't have a ship's flag. Just, just correcting that point. Now for lunch, we're going to Uno's for pizza. It's going to be awesome. And then I think we're going to do the Sephora. wrap the, the video up. I'm sure you've you kind of got the sense of what downtown Chicago is like. This, this is Nathan and um, I asked Nathan if he would share some thoughts. Nathan graduated from high school 10 years ago and like I said earlier he's a, a, a genius for the Apple Store and so we were talking earlier about some things that have really been like, uh, don't we look like twins? I mean, you, you can't even tell us apart. <laughs> like, like you can not. So things that, that 10 years ago you wish you had known when you you know, you were in high school when you finished high school. You know, school's important, obviously, but what's the, the bigger lesson that you think would be more valuable? Go. Well, hmm. probably the most important thing I've learned over the last 10 years is that as much as you think what you know matters, it's proving to people more that you're willing to do the work. So you, you, yeah, and so you might major in physics, but you may get a job that has nothing to do with physics. And the, the point of that degree at that juncture isn't to say, well, I wasted my time, but it's to show your future employer that you can do something you don't want to do and see it through to completion. That's really the crux of, of what any professional person is going to be looking for, is the willingness to do tasks that they know you don't want to do, see them through to completion. I, I, I put that in a video about one of the success things about what it takes to be successful. It was like, you have to be disciplined enough to do something you don't want to do. Yeah, absolutely. And that's it. And if anyone had ever told me that going to college was more than just learning new information, it was more about the life experience of, of, of learning that self-motivation and that ability to uh, succeeded tasks that you certainly don't want to do. May have changed some things, but I think inevitably it's it's all about your own individual experience. All right. Anyway, I'm gonna I'm gonna wrap this up, but um, I'll say goodbye from the Tahoe when I get back to Indiana. All right, made it to the Tahoe. It's always a dice roll, isn't it? So according to my step counter, about 12,000 steps today, which is probably quite a few steps more than I average. Uh, it was a great day, had an awesome time uh, visiting with Nathan, who, by the way, is the uh, person who engineered, produced the swishing video. He he took basically took, he took sort of a skeleton that I sent him, and yeah, he, he made it a lot better. So there there uh, there's the day, episode 125 done. And uh, while I was while I was in Chicago, I went ahead and shot episode 126. So uh, there's a that'll be coming that'll be coming too. It's kind of so that happened and and uh, 126 is, is kind of cool because 
I got caught in the rain, so you have that to look forward to, that to look forward to. All right, I gotta get home. I am actually going to Purdue tomorrow, and uh, I've got three days of training that I'm gonna do for the, as, because I'm a science teacher. And so, I'm gonna go to Purdue tomorrow. Um, obviously, camera's going with me, so we'll see what we can glean from that. All right, so, getting out of episode 125 with the normal stuff, please subscribe to my channel, come on. Hit me up with a like. Give me a comment. Give me some suggestions. Tell me what you think would be, you know, what would you like to see? That, that was such, I might go to Chicago again before the summer's out just because. That was kind of cool. And that's all I got. See you. I've got to say thanks for watching. Always, thank you for watching. Share this with your friends. Share the channel. And, 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 and. See you. See you in the next episode.